everybody so today I'm going to be doing a tips and tricks video now this is very different to what I usually do but I thought it would help you guys along with all your um, skills and progressions in making charms so today I'm gonna be talking about how to make figurines um, now I've made this if you cannot tell it is Elsa from um, of course frozen um, now I'm going to be talking as to how I made her and all the difficulties that you can get um, with making figurines, especially ones that uh, can't stand up on their own. Um, so the first thing you have to do is either make an armature or a proper base and then bake it before you do the hair, the dress or anything else on it. I will show you a picture of my base right now. that I did not use in armatures which is a base made out of wire now this um, can be either a plus a, a good or a bad the good thing about it is when you um, clay you can manipulate a lot more easily so if you mess up on how the arm looks you can easily bend it with the armature you cannot but I do suggest that you bake it Another thing that I had um, put on after I made that picture is a bum and uh, some breasts. Um, as you can see on the armature, it could be a boy or a girl, and then I made the dress without her breasts or her bum, and it looked very, very flat. Um, now I'm going to talk about the dress as well. Uh, the thing about the dress is I made this way too thin, so if you are going to make a chibi of, of some sort with a dress or a gown um, I suggest don't put it if you're going to put it through a pasta machine or just roll it out don't make it too thin be sure to um, use enough clay on these sort of things because what I had is the front was okay but I stretched it a lot to make it actually go over the leg because I used up a lot of blue because I had a lot of filled dresses but I never changed the thickness which I now think about but um, I should have done earlier so what I got was a huge crack right through here and another huge crack right through here I don't think you can see that but, well I think you can see that but it also broke off at the sides over here and I just tried to fix that as best as I could so it turned out okay but I definitely think that you should use as much clay as you need especially when making figurines because you're going to need a lot of it um, the way I did the glitter was using a old glitter nail polish then putting it on lots at the top and rubbing it off with um, uh, nail polish remover which just spread it around a lot because I couldn't get all the glitter off that is what I wanted so that is how I made the glitter effect um, then for the hair which is probably the easiest part seeing as all of the, the limbs and the head are already baked I don't have to worry about this misshaping when I squish it or something so I just used a toothpick and dragged it through um, as in dragging um, give me a sec so I've got myself a regular old toothpick you could use a dotting tool but I don't think that would be as prop um, as easy to use because what you have to do to make sure that you don't get all those little crumbles is don't drag it through with swiping motions but um, sort of roll it through so that you start at this point and then um, press it down and take it back it is, um, it's the easiest way or else you will start to see that it will crumble because if you take it through it will um, sort of crumble at the sides I think you know what I mean and if you use a dotting tool you will definitely see the dot coming over here so either a needle tool or a toothpick but if you're like me um, I think a, a toothpick work will work definitely fine because you have different um, sort of depths 
to it, so I think a toothpick will look really nice. Um, then the back, um, be sure to attach the limbs properly. You're going to have a lot of trouble if you don't at least put a little bit of wire in the neck or the uh, limbs or else they will start to come off during the making of the dress or the hair. Um, then if you want your figure to stand and you are not paying attention as I was because if you put her up straight you can see that she um, sort of bends backwards so even when I put her down um, she cannot stand on her own that's why she needs something like a little tiny jar to help her um, with the support but it doesn't need a lot of support it's fine on its own but if you do try to make it on its own try to remember how the, it was positioned so if it's more back uh, remember that you need to put more of the base down here than um, down there because it needs that support at the back. Um, so this was my little in-depth video of tips and tricks on making figurines, especially on larger chibis. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this sort of video. If you did, please comment down below and tell me or if you have any other questions on how I made this, um, also comment down below. So I will see all of you guys next time. Bye!